Hey everybody, welcome to the Ray Hart Rundown. What is uh, going on this week? This week we have to do the screening, the second screening of mm-hmm. I Possessed. Uh, Dude, I, I really enjoyed that movie. Yeah? Yeah. There was people I uh, are still hitting me up and talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's uh, like a like a lot. Like they're like, oh, and they have questions. They have questions, and I'm like, I don't know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they're like, oh, can I come to the next screen? I'm like, no, you can't come to the next screen. Sold out. I what do you want me to do? I can't. Like, yeah. I mean, if we, I would, honestly, we would almost need us another theater. Another. Yeah, we would have to have two. We'd have to have another theater room to make it. Yeah. Again, but what do you, what can you do? We so, only had we only have access to so much. Yeah. We don't own the theater. <laughs> Yet, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, so That'd be badass to own your own movie theater. I thought I thought it would be, and then I mean, here's the thing: all your profits are coming from if you have a bar, and then from concessions. Right. All the ticket money goes to the movie. But here's the thing: I was very much like, how cool would it be? And then how much would it just be? Like it's like working for a video store, and you know this better. You know this. We we both worked for video stores, but you know you can relate to this. Mm-hmm. It's like at first it sounds amazing. It sounds cool. Oh, I work for a video store. Oh, I get to work, watch any movie I want. I can take home any video I want to. It's cool. I can talk about vi- movies all day. But there also comes a point, and it's usually about mm, a year later, where you just go, I work at a video store. <laughs> I wasn't even supposed to be here today. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I even was like, eh, I'm done. I wasn't done after a year. Oh yeah, they were done with me because they went under. Yeah, but I was. I worked for an independent, and I was like, "Yeah, this is fun and everything, but like, if you, I guess the other problem thing is, is that for me, it was I worked by myself. Oh, so no. it was it was very much like it's usually Randall one from of RST Video. It was very yeah. much that. Like if I walk out, the, if I walk out to go next door or whatever, I had to lock the door. Like it was that, you know? Yeah. So I lived the <clears throat> clerk's life, so so to speak, at the video store. No, I, uh, I it was always me and one other person. That's what I'm saying. So, like you worked for a chain, so it was very much like yeah. they had two people. Yeah, um, they went under a year my, on my like pretty much on my one year. Right. Like I started working like July first. Their last day was July seventh, one year later. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and after like six months, I was becoming the like manager in training, mm-hmm. and then they filed bankruptcy. And I was just like, well, it was fun while it Do you think that if the video store was still going to this day, you'd be working there? I'd be fucking district manager right now. Swear to God, dude. It was the most fun job I've ever had. I mean, and that's saying a lot because, like, I light myself on fire every night now at work, you know? So it's. um, Yeah, now it's very much like Dance Monkey. And that's the thing. It's I actually said those exact words to somebody. Right. Um, I was like, you know, and it's just like as much fun as everyone's like, oh, being a bartender must be so much fun. It gets old, you know, because it just feels very much like dance monkey dance for this dollar. And it's just like, go fuck yourself. Like, that's why even at my job, I was very much when they were like, after like a few years of working in the public eye and it was like, oh, you want to, you want a desk job in the back. It was very much like, Yeah. Yeah. I would love a desk job. I've actually been thinking about that I'll lately. take it. Like, actually, it was very much like I'm going to do that instead because I, you do, you get that. I mean, even the, for you, it's, I mean, I get it for you is different because you was like, oh, your tips depend on your performance. Right. And for But for me, it was very much like we had to literally kiss the customer's ass or fucking lick their butthole <laughs> to make them feel good every single day no matter what. And after you don't get tips, but that was just your job. And after a while... It, you you know, it's annoying. So, well, I don't want to. I, I think it's funny. We're not diving into our day jobs. No, I'm not going to fuck try to do that. that. All I'm trying to say is, is that I can I can understand why it would get frustrating. Yeah, and I mean, I, I, I thought about doing the whole desk thing lately and everything. I mean, it is a little bit of fun because now that I like let my light myself on fire, like I do all of my other tricks with the fire, and everyone mm-hmm. thinks it's cool. And then I like wet my hand and I put it over the bar and I go to like act like I'm pouring it on my hand, and everyone takes a step back and they're like, "No fucking way!" Like you're not, no. Like every, <laughs> yeah, I see that look on everyone's face. And it's like, here we go. Yeah, here you know we what go. I mean. And I'm just, and then I start laughing. I wet my hand again, and then I do it. But either way, like I don't want to talk about. That those jobs anymore um no but I, uh, we, we started the movie all, gallery I, that's what it was we start all that yeah saying like oh would you like i, I get that i'd be district manager because bro. of netflix and all of that all of the 
the rental places, basically all the movie rental places went out of business except for one. There's one still t- standing. Uh, it's a blockbuster in Oregon. Yeah. That's still standing uh, somehow, magically. <laughs> um, it's literally called the last blockbuster, I think, at this point. And um, like it's very much, they, I think the only reason they're, they're, almost, they're almost like, I don't even think there's so much as they are, they're open as far as like, being a rental video rentals place is they're more like they're open as a museum at this point. <laughs> Do you right. know what I'm saying? Like more it's like five dollar admission to go, more people go in there just to be like, ah, <laughs> yeah. right. So this is what we used to do, kids. Yeah. So here's the question: is is that if Netflix and uh, streaming hadn't taken over in the video store, you really do you think you would have ever gone to the bar life, or you think you would have just you just stayed with the video? I would have been. A district. So then, why would why would you move into or corp? I would have moved up the corporate ladder. But then, why wouldn't you just move into a streaming service? Then that work the same way. Yo, HBO, Netflix, Hulu, whoever, <laughs> Disney Plus. If you're looking for somebody, I will fucking quit bartending tomorrow, and I will work for you. I'm about to blow. Your, I'm about to blow your fucking mind right now. <laughs> why are they hiring? Paramount Plus and uh, NBC Universal is for what? What position? Dude, every single time I'm on LinkedIn, somebody's posted about their, oh, I just got hired on NBC Universal for fill in the blank. Okay, because like, I keep on seeing one for Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers is looking for a production assistant, paying 1300 a week. And then I'm like, yes, please. And I fucking select it. And it says, send your email to WarnerBrothers003 at gmail.com. And I'm like, that's fake. Right. What are you looking at? What, who says that? Are you looking on LinkedIn? I don't fucking social media. You mean no? No. So the answer is no. No. Okay. Just you can say no. It's fine. Yeah. No. It's just like I'm when I'm like scrolling about, through social media, yeah. I see it and I click no, on it. No, that's bullshit. And yeah, so, no, it's bullshit. I'm like, and then somebody told me they're like, oh, Adam, like I found it, and that they sent it to me originally. Yeah. No. And when I clicked on it and said like yes, please, responded, they sent me a message saying send it to this email, and I messaged my friend back. I was like, that's fake. Don't do it. Yeah. Like, don't send them any information. They're like, what do you mean? I was like. Warner Brothers isn't going to tell you to email your resume and your info to a Gmail, Warner, at to a Warner Brothers 003 at Gmail. No, the it'll be one, like yeah. jo- careers at WarnerBrothers.com or whatever. Yeah, like even you know? our even our email addresses are rayhartrundown. Yeah, exactly. So, like, like they're like, not going to use a fucking Gmail We're not account. fucking Warner Brothers, so... Yeah. And they're like, oh, really? I was all like, yeah. They're like, well, how would they, like, what would they get out of that? I was like, oh, here's your job application. Write your social security number down on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Write your Send phone it back number, to us. Your, yeah. Here's, yeah like, give us was, your driver's license. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's like, and they were like, oh, I didn't even think about that. I'm like, yeah, yeah. you sent it, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. He totally <laughs> like, did. Oh, your identity's fucked. He's like, I gotta go get a new license. <laughs> oh. So. Uh, no, but the... Um, they're constantly. I see it like all the time. They're constantly hiring them. Uh, it's at Paramount Plus, uh, NBC Universal, and Pixar. Surprisingly enough, I see constantly. Oh, that'd be cool. Pixar, yeah, be cool. There was. Um, I, I was talking to this girl for a little while, um, that worked for Netflix, and mm-hmm. so immediately that was like I was. Got me interested in her, and I was right. like, "Well, hey, hey, how you doing? You know, like, what do you do for Netflix?" She goes, "I can't really talk about it, but um, I, I can't talk about what I'm working on, you okay. know, essentially." She is, but she types the subtitles. Oh, and I was just all like, "Wow, job sounds super boring." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but at least you get to like watch the shows and the movies before they even come out because you're typing up the subtitles. True, for it. you know what I mean. Which is really cool, but like I wouldn't, I don't know if I would want to do that type of job. Like sit there on my computer and just fucking watch a show and type every single fucking thing they say. It's like, really? Why don't you just copy and paste the fucking script? Well, here's the thing. Is that, <laughs> here's the thing is that, but for, nowadays I always thought, com- I always thought computers would just auto adjust for closed caption. And, and you know, it's funny is that actually that's what I did for a previous project. Like, um, like, like YouTube, like YouTube does it for our show right now. Like I didn't type any of this bullshit at the bottom if they're watching with closed captions. Hey, so uh, it's hey, YouTube, automatic. Thanks for the closed caption software on the last film. <laughs> is that what you le- no, like legit, like for our our film years from years ago, because it needed closed captionings. Mm-hmm. Um, I literally uploaded it privately to YouTube so that nobody could see it. Mm-hmm. Uh, uploaded it privately, put it through 
the software and then st- went through and started making edits on it. And then when I got like partially through and just escalated it to somebody else and I was all like, hey, f- you fucking finish it type of mm-hmm, thing. Mm-hmm. And I don't think they did. I think they just uploaded it with the film, but whatever. So it's all closed captions probably fucked on it, but it is what it is. I mean, that project's over and done. I was so done with that project. You know what I mean? Like we worked on it for so long that I was just like, I was just tired of dealing mm-hmm. with it. So I moved it on, but I watched the new George Carlin documentary. Oh, how was that? It came out on HBO. It was a two-parter. And it's like two and a half hours each part. And so it's I mean it's long, but it's it's so crazy to see the stuff that George Carlin was talking about that is literally the stuff we deal with today. He was talking about it in like the 80s and 90s. Well, how comedy is like Nope. Wasn't careful. even talking about comedy. Oh. Wasn't even talking about comedy. <clears throat> he was literally talking about abortion rights. He was literally talking about gun control. He was literally talking about all these things that are a hot button issue right now. And he was literally telling and if you watch this, if you watch the clips from if you look it up on YouTube, watch his clips. He was literally after tell, the show. Yeah, he was literally telling everybody, "You guys are fucking up. You guys are screwing it up. This is what's going to happen." And sure as shit, this is what's happening. Wow, it was wild. It was I've been watching Freaks and Geeks. It was wild to see. I watched the only season of Freaks and Geeks again. Um, I love that show, and I was talking about it on the uh, the the Patreon um, mic check mic check trivia mm-hmm. uh, before we started the show. And there was one thing I noticed, and it took me like fucking fourteen episodes to catch on to it. Mm-hmm. In the very beginning intro, it's every main character going up and taking their class photo, right? Right, and. You could see like they the the next person that's supposed to sit down and take their photo. You could see them off to the side of the the screen, right? And you see James Franco rubbing his eyes. Okay. And then whenever he like goes, his eyes are a little bit red, and he's like waves his hair back, and he like looks stoned. Mm-hmm. And then it's another person. Well, after that next person, you see Jason Siegel. And dude, and it's kind of like in fast forward mode a little bit. Mm-hmm. And bro, he's just digging at his fucking eyes. Mm-hmm. So you can kind of see like the trick that they use to make him look stoned. Oh, 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 oh. In that moment, because your main focus is on the main character, not what's going off to the side. So you can see him just sitting there, just fucking grinding into his fucking eyes the entire time. And then when he comes up, he looks like super fucking stoned. Is all around his eyes are all red and everything. And I was just all like. Like, it took, like, 14 episodes. I was all, like, they're just fucking rubbing their eyes. Like, they're not even yeah. using makeup because it's so, like, low-budget and independent. Like, I thought it was really, really cool. Like, if you take acting classes and that type of stuff, they teach you so many different things that you were like, oh, that's how oh that's how they pull that off. Or, oh, that's how they do that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like, if I ever needed to cry on film, I will just grab some tweezers and just start plucking nose hairs. No, you don't have to bro. do all that. You don't have to do that. <laughs> That'll make me cry in a fucking instant. <laughs> I thought the same thing. It's so funny that you should say that because I literally thought the same thing. I'm like, oh, that shit makes my eyes water immediately. But it doesn't stay. That goes away quickly. So if the scene is if the scene is prolonged or stretched out, but the trick the always the trick is there's something you can actually buy. You could buy it now and you don't have to. You don't have to buy this for any for any reason. Because you can just use Vicks Vapor Rub. And you take Vicks Vapor Rub, because it's, it's clear, you take a very thin, tiny, 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 tiny bit, and you can literally just go whoop. Right under both eyes, and the vapors, the fumes from Vicks Vapor Rub, will make your eyes tear up for a while. It's like pepper spray in your face, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but there's actually a, there's actually a, 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 I almost bought one, but I was like, ah, I'm not gonna spend the money. I don't need it right now. But there's a little. It looks like a like a lipstick, whatever, right? A vapor for, rub. Kind of, yeah. It's kind of like a lipstick for a vapor rub. It's just it it goes on clear. You just go like this. Right before the scene, and then your eyes immediately start to water up, and you go right into it. But that's the trick. That and you could buy it for. Remember, I think we were talking about last that last episode, the episode before, like ha- your makeup kit. You have to have a makeup kit. Yeah. So that's. I'm like, oh, I need that for my makeup kit. So the Ray Heart Rundown now has a new sponsor, uh, or I should say, one of we have many sponsors, but this is a new one that we are totally behind. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's literally the name is called Bubbly Bath and Body. It is 
a whole bunch of different like soaps and fragrances and mists and bath bombs and the whole nine yards. Do you want to smell like a man? <laughs> Do you want to smell like a dude? <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe you want to smell like a strawberry field. Maybe you want to smell like a beaver's gland. We don't know. It's not our. It's not our. It's not us to, to judge you. But be that as it may, we uh, we teamed up with uh, Bubbly Bath and Body to bring you the Ray Hart Rundown Collection. Yep. The Ray. I should Bob, be, you've tried some of the product already. I've I'm, tried, I'm still. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I tried the lotion. Waiting I tried on the, my beard oil. I tried. I added the man lotion. The man lotion. I added the man lotion. Uh, the Desperado man lotion, and it's not to, just for your dick. Okay, my, you can yeah, apply it's not it. Jerk off juice. We're just, <laughs> you say man lotion. I'm all like, I need to clarify. Yeah, yeah. No, but it's. I tried the Desperado. Um, it's just like a. It's just like. I mean, it's just moisturizer, basically. Right. So I added that to my to my makeup bag. Makeup man bag, and um, it's. I mean, it smells amazing. It smells like amazing. I have to. I have to grab it and I'll let you smell it. But it's, I should have brought it in for the show, but. Uh, it's amazing, but here's the here is the cool part. Here is the cool part. If you go to bubblybathandbody.com, you can find at the top of the website, it says Ray Hart Collection. You can click on that. You'll see our wonderful Ray Hart Rundown logo, mine and Adam's cartoon face, right there, boom, on the page. You could scroll down. You will see a bunch of our Ray Hart Rundown collections, a whole bunch of different setups and a different a bunch of different uh i would say uh, packages so to speak discounted packages yeah. like good deal packages but bundles. We, but yeah bundles if you will of different <clears throat> things um of course like i, I don't want to give any with you have to check it out because i don't want to give away the names of the collections because they are exclusive to our podcast yeah so you can only imagine what we decided to call stuff <laughs> yeah. uh <laughs> so be that as it may Here's where we go one step better. Like, you know, remember how we always talk about how we give like the Patreons everything? Like, yeah. We always give Patreons everything. This time around, we're going to give this little cool this little cool thing to everyone. To literally all of our listeners. What are we going to give them, Bob? Another 20% off. No shit. 20% off. At bubblybathandbody.com. When you go to the Ray Hart Collection, you can get yourself a discounted bundle deal, for not only there, but then you could use the code RUNDOWN. Just RUNDOWN, I think. I don't think it's RUNDOWN, like we usually use RUNDOWN20, but I think yeah. this time it's just RUNDOWN. Just use that checkout, the code RUNDOWN, and get yourself an additional 20% off. No shit. What? They're practically giving that shit away now. Wish I had known that before I ordered my beard oil. Well... <laughs> okay so that's okay so it's here's the thing right. once your beard oil does come in though you'll have to eat, like here's what i want this is what i want you to you do. want me to apply it on on the show okay i want you to show people how to d- apply beard oil just like when we did the pepsi nitro pour this is what i'm, I'm not about. a professional fucking i'm no, a professional like, pourer, not a that, professional beard oil i mean i'll ma- do it it doesn't matter that's the thing. okay All you're right. the, you're the average guy with a beard yeah and we want to see how you apply your beard oil okay yeah, I'll play it on the show. So I make jokes, but no, I'm actually really excited about it because like the beard oil that I have right now sucks. So I've been super excited to try this out and see how, how For this sure. works. For and sure, see how it smells because that's also a main important. That's a big factor. Thing. That's, that's a, a huge big factor. factor. So, but I've heard nothing but good things so far. So as soon as we try that, I mean, you know, like I said, you've used the products. I've uh, used them more so far. Yeah, um, I'm super excited to try it out, which is you know I'm really glad that they are a sponsor of ours. So. Yeah. So in final, go to Bubbly Bath and Body. Dot com, find the Ray Hart collection, pick some stuff out there, oh, and then of course use code Rundown at checkout to get yourself twenty percent off. I mean, you can't do better than that, dude. Yeah, I mean, and the products are already, and, the products are already discounted. On I was Ray Hart say, collection. and the Rundown, the Ray Hart collection is already discounted, and then Rundown you get an additional twenty percent. Yeah, so it's like, uh, but, and it's all and, and you you forgot one of the most important things. Go ahead, tell me. Um, it's all natural ingredients. Oh yes. Like it's, it's all non-toxic natural ingredients. Like you're getting the best of the best, you know, and it's a small business. You're not buying from any type of corporate. These aren't being made by, you know, children overseas. Yeah. This like is like you're getting weird. the top of the line quality right. stuff out of at a twice discounted price. So it's, it's, it's like, amazing. Yeah. It's incredible. So if you want to know more about their company, you can actually go to the Rayheartrundown.com slash sponsors and you will see, uh, 
if you scroll down, you'll see in, in our sponsors there, the Bubbly Bath and Body uh, information, and then you click and go to their website. It's amazing. It's fun. It's uh, it's good stuff. It's yeah. good stuff. I'm excited. I know. I, I, I will say this. I will say this. I know there's some type. I'm not going to give away what it is, but I know there is some type of peacock collection. <laughs> Because why, why wouldn't there be? Yeah. And from what I've heard, why wouldn't there be? There's, there might be one more. There might be There might be two. There might be two Peacock collections. I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to go see. I guess, you'll have yeah, to go, you'll have to go find out. You'll have to go see. So, uh, yeah. So, I'm super excited that we got ourselves another sponsor. We'll check it out. So, please, please, please go check it out. Bubblybathandbody.com. Yep. What else you got going on there, big guy? We gotta go to. I don't know. So what we got this week? We got the second I possessed screening. Yep. So we got to go to another screening of I possessed. Yep. Did you go check out the Fort Myers Film Festival? Nope. Did you didn't go downtown to the Fort Myers Film nope. Festival? Nope. I served all of them. You, I was to say like I met some new people that are all filmmakers. Right. Um. <laughs> in this town, filmmakers. Filmmakers. Got it. Um. I, I'm joking. Um, I'm not filmmakers. <laughs> <laughs> don't care. <laughs> no, um, one of them actually. I think she was like one of the feature films of the festival and everything. Copeland? And when I actually looked into was it, it, Copeland. No, okay. Um, and they're they were really cool people. You mm-hmm. know, we sat there and, and and talked for a little while. And she actually had done a film about um, like human trafficking and stuff. And uh, it was a very very from what everybody was saying because I didn't get to see it I was at work right but it was a very powerful film and I guess it got like great reviews at the Fort Myers Film Festival so congratulations to her uh, I think that's really awesome cool you know but I'm way too focused with I possessed <laughs> to even go to that yeah I possessed did not we didn't they, they're not they're not gonna bother with I think with the no with the film I mean listen no, Fort no Myers Film Festival no yeah Fort Myers Film Festival is not on the spectrum of what. I possessed is heading for. Let's yeah. Let's just you know what I mean. I'm not trying to be unfair in any way to the Fort Myers film. No, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. It's a great opportunity for independent filmmakers, and it's a great opportunity for people with short films or people that want to get their film viewed by an audience. Absolutely. Just the I possessed is more for Toronto can. Well, here's the thing: the production level that we have with I possessed. Or I say, you know, I say they have, but Carl the, has. Yeah, Carl and his production company, and essentially, I mean, by default, us, we as well, because he considers us to be included with it, has uh, of this film is, I don't, it's a, such a cock thing to say, <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of out of their, it's out of their league. I didn't. Uh, I didn't well, want to. That was say my it. nice way of saying I it, know. Bob. You had to say it the dick way of saying it. This podcast doesn't hold pull punches, though. We don't. We don't pull punches. I'm not trying to be. I'm not trying to be somebody's sweetheart on this podcast. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, Fort Myers like, Film Festival. I'm not Festival, trying to be a dick. I just said it's a great opportunity for independent filmmakers to get their film seen by, is, scre- by my my audience. But I'm Fort Myers Film fucking, Festival is a little too small for the quality of which they, I possess. They this. are they are verified by IMDb. So I gotta give them that. Do I mean, that. yeah. Fucking eh, Eric, I'll give it Eric Raditz, the uh, in charge of the Fort Myers Film yep. Festival. He does a great job. Yeah. He does an, ex- an exemplary job at putting on the Fort Myers Film Festival. Yeah, you know we know Antonio who does the Bonita Springs Film Festival. We know like all of the you know the Southwest Florida, South Florida yeah. people that Dude, run Antonio, these different festivals. Even though like Bonita so, Springs Film Festival isn't IMDb certified, right? That is hands down one of the best like um, put together. Yeah, like the best put together, the best like I mean, with the he rolls out a fucking red carpet. Like even though it's just like a small town film right. festival, Correct. it makes it feel like a Hollywood premiere. Right. He's got guys walking around in tuxedos handing out champagne. Like it feels they put the money in. Yeah, it. dude. Like they put the money into it. It's very very well done. I got a hand. Like we've gone to that one. We've gone, but and again, don't get it, don't get it twisted though. But you know, we've my gone we've, we've gone, gone to. to quite a few film festivals. We've gone to stuff in Fort Lauderdale. We've gone to stuff in Miami. We've gone to stuff in Erie, Pennsylvania. No, you've gone to stuff in Erie, Pennsylvania. And by the way, I have a story about that. <laughs> you have another story about Erie, Pennsylvania. I have a story. You about weren't Erie. even at Erie, Pennsylvania. I know, and I have a story about Erie, Pennsylvania. All right, let me hear it. A guy comes into my work. A family comes into my work. An entire family? A, a family. Do I know these so people? A husband and wife. I feel like you're telling a story. A few kids. You might have met them. Husband and wife, few At kids. At Erie, Pennsylvania? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the town's not that big, but go ahead. Which is why I'm saying this. He's wearing a shirt from like a bar, and it says Erie, Pennsylvania 
on it. Does it is it a speakeasy bar? I don't know. But dude, I was like, as soon as I read it, I was like, Erie, Pennsylvania. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that was legit what I said. And the lady goes, That's our hometown. I was like, whoops. <laughs> I was like, at that moment, Adam is not their bartender. <laughs> nope. But no, yeah. I was all like, oh, sorry. Yeah. Like, legit. Like, that was all I said. I said sorry. And they're like, about living there or for saying that? I was, Both. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was like, no. I was all like, yeah. I was like, my brother went to Erie, Pennsylvania for a film festival. And uh, it's a whole lot of it nothing w- there. It wasn't a film festival, though. I told him. I was like, there's a whole lot of nothing there. They're like, we love our town. I was like, rock and roll? <laughs> Like, I didn't know what else to tell him. I was like, all right. And I just went to the other side of the bar and just left him alone. Were they like straight-laced white people? Yes. Yeah, shocker. So let's move into our Filthy Trivia segment. Here we go. Uh, Filthy Trivia is never sponsored by anybody. That's what we should do. We should start having (laughs) companies sponsor a Filthy Trivia question. They probably won't want to. Honestly, these kind of get bad, and they probably they'll have to pick, but eh, we'll see. I don't know. There's some companies out there that might. There might be. You know? Be that as it may, here we go. Your feet sweat approximately this much fluid per year. Oh, my God. 100 gallons. This is why I said Dr. Scholes. You get it? <laughs> um, <laughs> is it A, 10 gallons? No, more. B, 23 gallons? Probably more. C, 18 gallons? Or D, 1.5 gallons? Uh, like 26, dude. 26 was not even an option, dude. Oh, what was it? 20, 10, 23, 18, or 1.5. Oh. Um, usually one. on statistical ones like this, it's not going to be like the most or the least. It'll be like the middle ones. Okay. I'm going to go with 18 gallons. A year? A year. 18 gallons. So your final answer is C, 18 gallons. Wait. Maybe not. Talk about gallons. Well, you also got to remember is that there's not really pores on the bottom of your feet, is there? I, I think so. Yeah, but they're usually covered by calluses if no, you walk yours outside. Are usually covered <laughs> <by calluses. laughs> oh, sorry, Clarify. I don't get pedicures. <laughs> there. Yeah, yeah, your boy's pretty. I'm sorry, my bad. <clears throat> there. I'm not ashamed. Whatever. I'm not ashamed. I can't have people touch my feet, dude. That's no? so weird. You anyway, can. the music's running. Uh, Eighteen. You, you, no, uh, you're wrong. Okay, That's guess again. Twenty three. There it is. Oh, okay, it is you, the most. See right the first time. Okay, yeah, but yeah, I can't. People touch my feet. That's fucking weird. I can't. I hate it. Even if I was like, even when I was in a relationship, and like hard day at work, she's like, "Let me rub your feet." I'm like, "You do not touch my feet." Like, really? I don't like my feet being touched. Yeah, no, not at all. Not by anyone. It fuck, it's, it's fucking weird when Freya goes and puts her paw on my foot. I don't. No, not me. Nope. I'm, I hate it. I yeah. hate my feet being touched. Your, your boy's fancy. Nope. I hate it. Don't touch my feet. My feet are for walking. And that's just what they'll do. <laughs> You're, so, <laughs> You're so corny. So you could do a pedicure. You couldn't do that nope. whole like thing. That new thing. You've seen that thing uh, where you can go and like put your feet in like a tub of water, but inside the tub of water is like little fish, and they eat the dead skin off of your feet. I'd probably do that. Why is that okay? Because it's it's different. It's like putting. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay, no, you have to tell me. It, it you de- won't even let your uh, the girl that you're in a relationship with yeah. rub your feet, and she offers, but you're gonna let fish eat your feet. <laughs> That's now you sound like a freak. <laughs> so, Claire, you suck toes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're trying to suck toes. What's happening? No, I just, I don't know. I just don't like people manhandling my feet, but... What kind of chicks you be dating? <laughs> <laughs> um, she's like, honey, come here. Give me your feet. <laughs> You're like, whoa, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, bitch. No. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> I, uh... No, I just, I don't know. I just don't like my feet being touched. But then it's like, so like I, my friend of mine had a saltwater tank and he had the shrimp in it and you put your hand in and the shrimp came up and would clean the dead. Right. Off your, but they just rub, they just like, yeah. Brush but it, it doesn't feel like somebody's touching your feet. Okay. Or touching your hand rather. Right. It doesn't feel like that. It just, it's like, 
dainty. It's very, very light, almost like like a mist is hitting your hand type okay, of thing. Yeah, but well, it's submerged it's, in water. But, but that's also you know a shrimp. I mean? So yeah, if this fish, I don't know if I would do that. I'd, I'd probably put my fit in it, take it right back. I'd be like, yeah, no, I'm not about that. But like, if it was like covered with those shrimp, I'd be like, oh, dude, go to town, bro. Like, get it's all the, same, the dead the fish, skin Yeah, off. the fish are the same way. The fish are the same. They're tiny little. They're like, yeah, they're tiny fish. I don't know. I would try it, but I probably wouldn't like it. Now, like foot massage, like machines, all about it. That's okay? That's okay. Because it's not a person. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Why does it that... Here's the, here's my question. It's not, it's fine. You can totally be okay with it. I mean, this is not a bad thing. I'm just curious because it's like, how is the machine doing it okay, but a person who's willing to do it, you're like, nah. I don't know. I just don't like... That's just your thing? I just, just, like, I just don't like you it. Out? Yeah. No, pineapple juice. Safe word. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. Done. <laughs> Like, I'm nope, I'm out. Don't touch my feet. Okay. Pineapple juice. All right. All right. <laughs> like, I'm just going to start doing that. Every time there's something I don't want to talk about, pineapple juice. Yeah, that's fine. No problem. That'll be the <laughs> new thing. Just straight up, pineapple juice it. Pineapple it's juice. Over. All right, that's fine. Yep, that's our way of saying plead the fifth. <laughs> nope. Not me, dude. I would be like, yep. You're going to have to bring that fucking merch line back I'm, for a I'm limited so, time. Yeah, I'm so... I'm such a spoiled brat. I'm like, yeah, do it. Do it. Do with me what you will. Do it, do it, do it, do what you need to. Make me pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I mean, that's me at tattoo shops, though. Yeah, how is that okay? I, I, don't, I, can't. I mean, I won't get my feet tattooed. Yeah, but you got your calves tattooed. Yes. And your chest tattooed. Yes. And both arms tattooed. Yes. I don't know where else I'm missing, but let's just stop there for now. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever get a tattoo on your dick? No. Even if it was like, no. Your girl was like, yo, I need my name right by your fucking. No. Cock. Not on your cock. Fuck hold no. On, hold on. You wait. never Let get a name tattoo. Let me finish. What if she was like, what if she was like, just get a heart. Not my name. Just like, just get a little heart and I'll know what it means right by your cock. No. She's like, do it or over. <laughs> over. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> No. <laughs> pineapple juice. <laughs> Pine- pineapple juice. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You're out. I'm out. Nope. All right. Yeah. Um, no. No, I would never do that. I'm not getting like a fucking coiled snake around the dick so that he like... No. Oh, wait. You thought about this. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> the dragon tail wrapper. No, I'm not. Nothing? The fucking ace of spade on the head. No. I'm not. If you had to get... If you had to, if they were like... They put a gun against your head, and they were like, "Yo, I get a little dragon nope, head." Listen, hold on, let me a finish, Prince let me Albert finish. as his they, nose they ring. They would be like, yes. <laughs> "They would say, they say, okay, listen, you have to get a fucked up tattoo somewhere. Your pick, but it has to be not something you would usually get." Go. Uh, What's the most fucked up tattoo you would get? I don't I, uh, on the gooch. You would get a tattoo on your fucking taint. Nobody would ever see it. What would you get? Who the fuck looks at your taint? Well, okay. Time's out. <laughs> Time's out. First of all, what would you get tattooed on your taint? I'm, How did I'm that not... just become the title of this episode? I don't know. <laughs> but what would you get tattooed on your taint? Uh, pineapple juice. Nope. I, just, I got the gun. No. Because gun's up. What's up? No. I would no, get... I got the gun. I, would... I got the gun. I asked you the question first. And I just and it told has you. to be fucked up. I would get a glass of pineapple juice. Oh, a glass of pineapple juice. <laughs> On my tank. Okay, you didn't say that. You just said pineapple <laughs> juice. I was like, no. Nope. No, um, I'll get like the dole can of pineapple juice because then that's that's my get safe like a, word. Get, I'd get like an X that was like, it's treasure, man. So like, if we're, if we're messing around and you see my taint, <laughs> fucking safe word is being said. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. If you could see that and not my eyes... Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the trick. So that would be probably what I get. I thought about I thought about a most fucked up tattoo to get. Okay. I thought about this. I thought about this years, so many years ago, long before this tattoo, and I like, and it's so fucked. Like okay. I, this is how long ago I thought about it. Seventh grade. <laughs> okay. So nineteen eighty four. How old am I? I'm 43 now. <laughs> so, yeah, long time. Um, I was like, what, 1990? Yeah. 90 
92, 91. I don't know. It anyway. Matter. My point, the thing I thought about is I would get, this is so fucked, and copyright, I don't care. Uh, my idea. Fuck you guys. Patent pending. Patent pending. Uh, I would get, Also, by the way, this is not a time to start a petition for us to get these tattoos. Yeah, it's never going to happen. Not going to happen, guys. <laughs> Go ahead. He totally. I already canceled my change.org account. Uh, <laughs> the uh, I, I would get Elmer <clears throat> Fudd. Yeah, I would, get, I would get Elmer Fudd on my ass cheek with a gun at my asshole saying, come out, you wascally wabbit. <laughs> Uh, I would probably get that tattoo. You would be okay with getting that one? I probably because it's funny. Yeah, because when people like because people would saw it, see it, saw it, people would see it and start laughing and laugh. Well, it's not good for people to laugh when they see you naked, though. <laughs> but here's the thing: if you were, I mean, but if you were mooning somebody with a, oh, with a comic strip, right? No, yeah, but like, no, I would probably get that tattooed. I probably would. You know, I could draw it. Is this going to be my next tattoo, Bob? I no, it doesn't have to be your next tattoo. You, go to change.org. <laughs> slash, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, um, do you, uh, you know, it's funny is that you you mentioned like names, like how we. I would. There's no way. There's no, no fucking, fucking way. Am I getting somebody's name tattooed on me? Not even if, even <gasps> if I had kids, wouldn't get their Here's name the tattooed on Here's me either. Thing. Okay, stop. Here's the thing. There was one instance, and I know this guy from years ago, and I'm not even gonna say his name, but there was one instance where this guy got his this girl's his girl's name tattooed on his ankle. Weird, but got his girl's name tattooed on his ankle, and I was like, "Dude, why? Why would you do that? That's so fucked." And he's like, "Because it's an easy fix." He got the girl's his girlfriend's name was Mercy. Oh, I remember goes, you telling me about this. And he goes, if we break up, I just put no in front of it. And it says, no mercy. And nobody's on the wiser. Right. No, like, I see I see it like if you get somebody's name tattooed on you. Yeah. And then you split up. Right. The only way to fix it is to put, like, a tattoo of a void stamp over it. And that just seems messy. Then it just seems funny. Yeah, it's funny, but it just seems, but it just looks like, oh... I made a poor choice, and now I've got void. Now I've got now, <laughs> now I've got this mess. You know what I'm saying? Like right. I've got this chaos, or the but no, even the no symbol through it is kind of. Dude, I met this chick, right? She was like, had a bunch of tattoos. Okay, like she was covered, pretty much. Okay, yeah. Well, I wouldn't say covered, covered, but like, okay, but she had she had she a neck had, tattoo. She had more than you. Yeah, got it. Let me say. She had a lot of trashy tattoos. So she had so many tattoos that no matter what she wore, you saw them. Yeah. Okay. But it was not well done. Like, these aren't good tattoos. Like, these you are just, like you said garage tat- tattoos. Yeah. Like, somebody, oh, we're at a party. Hey, you want to do mine? That type yes. of bullshit. Got it. <clears throat> Guess how many different guys' names she had tattooed. Matter of fact... No, no, don't even leave a name in the comments. We're going to have it pop up with a magic finger time. No, uh, that's exactly uh, what I was talking magic about. Magic finger time. That's what I was talking about. Uh, let's put on the trivia on the screen. Let me do magic finger. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Here we go. Adam, you got to give us four numbers. Okay. They're going to pop up and people are going to... So you got to go A. You know, it's a multiple choice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So doing my you, own little trivia know, right now. Doing somebody own trivia, I so you know the answer, okay? Yep. How so many... How many... How many... Uh, one of these Different four. guys' names did she have tattooed on herself mind you this is also not like her kids it's different past relationship Just dudes dudes got it that have been inside of her all right it's a blue, it's a blue empty bar on the screen will oh, you sorry give me a number is it a three okay b seven okay c 18 or d 12 on well, the audience at home Two things that just happened just now. Number one, by the way, you said D twelfth. That's not the answer. <laughs> Correct. So we're gonna take that, <laughs> we're like, gonna take that one away. I was like, I was like, should I say twenty six or should I say you twelve? And I just 26. like fucking twelve. So we've already <laughs> taken twelve away. There you go. Yeah. Just by the way you acted. So twenty five seventy five instead of fifty fifty. <laughs> um, there's your one lifeline. Because of the, well, here's the thing: is that because of how aggressive you said that this was how many tattoos she had? I'm assuming it's the eighteen. No. Wrong. No? Seven. Seven. Wow. Seven. I mean, 18? 
bro. Didn't you say 18? You said 18. I did yeah, say okay. 18, but... Okay, you said she was covered, so I figured yeah. even if the name was this big... No, seven. What's seven. The, what's the best way... <laughs> oh, this is so fucked up. We're talking about tattoos again, but this what's the best way to get somebody's tattoo... To get somebody's name tattooed, but to get it fixed and make it look like you didn't fuck up? Does that make sense? I've, I just thought of it. I just thought of the most genius idea of how to get it done. To turn it into a barcode? Nope. No. You ready? If you tattoo their name and then like you break up with them and you cross it off and tattoo the next person's name and then cross it off and the next person and then cross it off the next person, okay? Then make sure that the other half of the tattoo is Santa Claus holding a list. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like names on his list. There you go. That would be the only way that you could hide it. Yeah. Be like, yo, did you make it on Santa's list? Nope. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, I just, it was like, because one of the names was on her neck. Ew. Dude, and I mean, and I wasn't that. talking like, that. and I wasn't talking like, like a little, no, dude, like this dude's name was like, I'm about to bleep out. The, it was I'm half of to, her neck. All right, hold on, hold on. And I know this is so cocky. We usually don't do this anymore, but I'm going to do it for this episode right here. I'm about to bleep out the name that I'm about to say to you who has a tattoo on their neck. Ready? Oh. Yeah. It was this fucking big, dude. Yeah. It literally took yes. half of this chick's yes. neck. Yes. I'm probably like going to have to blur my mouth that. on that too thing. But yeah, yeah, yes. But dude, like, and I was just like, I was standing there, I was like, who's Matthew? That's my ex. What? <laughs> she's, <laughs> like, she's like, that's my ex from six relationships ago. <laughs> like, there ain't no covering that up. Like, because it was like graffiti art, Matthew. <laughs> like, wow. And I was just like, that that sucks, yo. Like, you might as well just black like out what, your whole. At neck. what point do you go? I'm so in love that I want to put your name on me. And if shit goes sideways, fuck it. <laughs> just Matthew, eighteen six. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, it's like turn that shit into a Bible verse. Your exactly. only option. That's the new. Patreon shirt. Oh yeah, yeah. We need to point that out. We yes, need to point it is. That out. Um, uh, it does not come with the dog hair, though. That is that, is, uh, that was strictly just for me. It's completely exclusive to Adam. Excuse me, I gotta take it off my hat for a minute. Uh, exclusive just for for yes, so the Adam things. line comes with um, white dog hair. <laughs> so let me say say this: two things. Number one, uh, the Patreon. Uh, what level is it? Director level? I think the director tier Patreons get this shirt for free. Uh, if you want to purchase this, this is the Ray Hart Rundown Chaos logo yep. with all the chaos happening behind it. Uh, if you want to get that uh, shirt, it is available at RayHartRundownMerch.com. You can actually just purchase the shirt straight out. Uh, now I know why you do this when you go, your boy's fancy. Your boy's fancy. <laughs> it's fancy. You got to be fancy. Anyway, if you want to purchase it, where do they go? RayHartRundownMerch.com. If you want to do an ep- you want to do a card of the shame of life while we're sitting here. I mean, uh, here's the thing. We're so getting hyped up for the I Possess thing. Yeah, like I'm, I'm not gonna like sugarcoat it. We're still getting hyped up for the I possess screening that we are like. I mean, it's kind of been all we've really been thinking focusing, about and focusing, focusing on, on yeah. for yeah for the while now, and it's uh, it's getting everything in line for it. Yeah, because we're. I mean, I mean, I don't want to say we're sponsoring it, but in the same token, like the show sponsors us. I mean, yeah, the movie production sponsors us, but in the same yeah. token, it's kind of like a mutual relationship. Like we're. Helping them. In yeah. The same this episode same is thing. brought to you by I Possess Movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, no, oh, the only other thing is that I uh, might have found my car. I've been car shopping for a while now. Mm-hmm. I think I might have found it. And I already know. Hold on. It. Hold on. Here we go. And I, <laughs> and I already know what you're going to say. Most likely. Is it a Subaru Outback? No, but I looked into those. And I looked into the Crosstrek. Uh, the cross track uh, seemed pretty cool, but uh, it's a Mazda CX three um, touring. That's all you. <laughs> Bob had a bad experience with the Mazda. <laughs> I had a Mazda six two six. Yeah, the six two six back in the nineties when Mazda sucked. Back yeah, the the, the 90s. Mazda has a much better rating nowadays the for Ma- reliability and everything else uh, nowadays. The Mazda six two six. They actually in, they in they beat out Toyota on reliability it was over the past couple years. Oh, was it? Yeah, 
Because in the nineties, I was in high school and I had the Altima. Oh, yeah, it was a Nissan. Well, nowadays the Mazdas have outbeat Toyota for reliability, according to my research. Don't quote me on that. I know you're gonna have a whole bunch of people fucking fire off on you. I know, you're but gonna, from what I've read, go just go to Adam at RayHeartRundown.com <laughs> for one sided story. <laughs> Did you get any subject line? Story? Oh, I don't know. Did you get it? I didn't get any. I, nobody. They all were supposed to go to you. They're all supposed to go to Adam at RayHeartRundown.com. Keep in mind though, the episode just came out a couple of days ago, so this is also true. It only came out two days ago. Here, search mail. One. Yeah, for those of that you that are curious, uh, Uber. Yeah, we record one, these nope. and then they come out for five days. So yeah. Um, no, I haven't gotten anything yet, but it's, there's still plenty of time. So, but yeah, it's a Mazda, um, CX-3 Touring. Uh, it has like so is it incredible, car? it's like a, it's like a mix between a hatchback and an SUV. It's like in between there, okay. you know, um, yeah. it's still very sporty looking. So 2018, it's decently new. I mean, it's the newest car I've owned. My car is a fucking 2010 piece of shit. Yeah, but well, um, when you got your car... It was 2015. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so I bought one that was five years old. Yeah. Now I'm buying one that's four years old. Right. Every year. I'm You're just going to... Every, every, every time I buy a new car, it's going to be like, a then little, three years. A little closer. Then two years. A little closer. Then one year, and then I'll die. <laughs> Without ever having a new car. And never have a new car. <laughs> ever. Um... But yeah, so, but it's uh, 2018. It's only got like 28,000 miles on it. Okay. Um, it, so it was like it was well maintained, great condition. Um, has it's supposed to be super reliable. Um, has that, a good towing capacity too, so I can like tow the Harley cross state uh, is across that the country. What and you like, want? Though. Um, I'm gonna always go back to you and go. Is that what you want? Like you're in a you're in a position right now where if you're gonna spend the money, get what you want. What do you want? Is that what you want? Because this is the first I've ever heard you say you wanted a Mazda, ever. Well, here's the thing, though, is that, like you said, this is the first time I'm able to get what I want. I know. That's why I'm telling you to not settle and to get what you want. I can't afford a DeLorean. No one can. <laughs> that's why no one gets them. That's why you don't see them everywhere. <laughs> okay? Can't exactly get what I want. Can I, can I, Bob? What do you really want? Um... I always did want. I always did want a convertible that was a hard top, not a soft top. Right. I did find one that I could afford. Okay. And you're gonna call me crazy. Okay. But I can afford it, and okay. it doesn't have as many miles as I thought it was gonna have. All right. Keep, okay. You're beating around the bush, but go ahead. It's a Mercedes Benz hard top convertible. Yeah. It's super fucking nice. Oh, I bet. And it's actually in my fucking price range of affordability. Okay. But I am not, and I repeat, I am not putting Freya in a Mercedes Benz. And that's what you get for getting a dog. <laughs> I'm not putting her in Mercedes Benz. No shit. Not doing it. But you don't have to haul your dog everywhere, you big fucking weirdo. Uh, I have to take her to the vet. Uh-huh. Yo, let me get a ride. <laughs> Uber with pets. Yeah. What are you talking about? So, no, I'm not putting her. I'm not, I'm not putting her. I haven't put ever. Mercedes I've Benz. never put these these big beasts of one burden over here in the convertible. Yeah, not but you've got two cars. Fucker. You've got the Forerunner. Never and gonna happen. The you know your your Volkswagen. Yeah. So my little hard top. Your Volkswagen. My little sporty two door. That's a horrible German accent, by the way. Yeah, you suck at that. Yeah. Regardless. Um. Again, that's what. So, is that what you want then? Okay, so that's what you're getting. I mean, no, you. I mean, I'm just asking. At this point in time, that's what. That's I'm what getting. you want today. That's what you want this week. Well, I mean, like I've been, I've been looking into all of these different cars and these SUVs. I know I want some sort of SUV because this has like the back that I could like put Freya in so that she's not on the seats. She's not. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, but your crazy ass dog is jumping all the way up to the front seat. Oh no! So. There's gonna be a seatbelt tire in her in. Mm. And I'm getting one of those like police cages, uh, <laughs> so she can't jump. Hey, buddy, how much do you take her to the vet that you need to buy all that for your car? Um, well, I mean, I still bring her over here too, so she could socialize with them. Um, but no, like you know, it's when I have to take her to the vet, or if I, you know, okay, I'm just saying, like, it's, like it's, that, like, like I'd like to have that ability. I'd like to have the ability of. 
take if I go up to the mountains, I want to be able to take her. Here's the thing: I really want to take her for a walk through the Hollywood Hills. She's gonna sweat her fucking balls off like she does now. I'll go in winter time. I'm not saying I'm gonna go tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not saying, oh, I got my new car. Let's go to Hollywood. No, I'm not. I mean, that kind of sounds like fun. But I'm not doing that tomorrow. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, but I want to take her up, to, you know, to the mountains and like, and so she can experience snow because she is a husky, you know, and things of that sort. So um, I want to be able to take her to those places and do all of that. Um, but I'm not putting her in a Mercedes Benz. Out of your fucking mind if you think yeah, about yeah, yeah. the Mercedes Benz. Well, here's the other. I'd rather just the, not get the Mercedes. <laughs> yeah, the other downside to the the Mercedes is, uh, like, but, much like the Audi, it's you have to get Mercedes to fix it. Right. Nobody fixes like no. I don't want to say nobody fixes them, but like most, you know, local local mechanic won't touch it. Right. But I mean, that's another thing though, is that it's like I want something that I can have a tow a hitch on Mm -hmm. and i can tow stuff but but yeah i want to be able to like hook up my harley and take it to route 66 out west and because that's one of my bucket list is to to just take that long fucking stretch of desert road with my harley you know what i mean like that that i would that'd be awesome you know just having that fucking heat wave just uh, I don't know why. I don't know why either. It's, it's on done, my bucket I've list. I've done the ride. I don't know why either. I've never done it. You know what I mean? So like, and it's just it like. sucks. I, I want to do it on a Harley, you know, and a convertible at one point, just so I can have that like Hunter S. Thompson <laughs> like feel. You know what I mean? We've done, I mean, we've done it. You've actually done it. You just don't remember. But right. Yeah. But like, I want to, that's, that's on my bucket list is yeah, to do the Harley convertible. You know what I mean? So like, I want to be able to do that. And so I want to be able to, or if I want to, if I want to get a fucking boat, I live in Florida. How how big is the storage garage that you have? Not enough to fit a boat. If that's okay, what you're yeah, asking. that's what I'm getting at right now. <laughs> but I'm saying I'm not saying I'm gonna get a boat. I'm just saying it'd be nice ski. to be able to. Right. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm gonna get a boat. I'm just gonna say it'd be nice to have the option to haul it. <laughs> like, but no, it's mostly to like haul the bike. I mean, these uh, this Mazda uh, CX3 Touring. I think its max towing capacity is like. 2600 pounds mm-hmm. so if i get a boat i'm not getting a big boat if i can afford a big ass boat then i can afford the big ass truck to haul it around right you know so yeah but i just want to be able to haul the little shit the little pop-up camper or something like that mm-hmm. so i could take it up to the mountains and just like pop it up and if i can sleep in it if i want to you know just a little stuff like that like i'm not i don't need that big i don't need shit that's three times bigger than i fucking need right you know so okay but we'll see like I said, I could show up tomorrow because it's still certified pre-owned. I could show up tomorrow, and it's just another instance of the RAV4. It's burn holes all over burn the place. Holes. There's a weird fucking smell coming from it. You know, you never know. What the fuck is going on with CarMax? Why? What's happening? 90% of the cars, Yeah. as soon as I open the door, I just fucking shut it again. Because? Because this weird fucking smell is, like, seeping from it. Okay, but is it a weird chemical smell? No. Because it's, like, is, no. it, like, is it the stuff they use to clean no. it? No. Okay. It's like, what is the smell? I, it's like all the employees are fucking in it or something. It's just, like, this weird, pungent, <laughs> yeah. like, like, hey, so like, hey, CarMax, are you guys fucking in those cars? <laughs> No, it's just like, uh, hey, CarMax, are you guys fucking in those cars? They're never going to sponsor this podcast, by the nope. way, now. No, it's Car just Max, like you can fuck in their cars. <laughs> Go ahead. Twenty four hour <laughs> test ride. Test ride. Not drive. Ride. ride. Um, but no. <laughs> There's a sponsor right there for you. <laughs> um, now everybody, Carmax is gonna be slamming it's tomorrow. Flooded with people. <laughs> um, but no, it's just like, dude. Like seriously, it's like every single person with bo traded in their fucking car. On the same day, and maybe they're all Car- on the fucking lot. Maybe Car, maybe and this is a throwback to the previous episode, but maybe CarMax ran a deal with Pink Eyes. <laughs> and- <laughs> maybe, <laughs> and that's why, dude, it was bad. A buddy of mine just bought his wife a Jeep Renegade. You seen that? I almost bought one of those. Actually, I found one today. Yeah. Um, I can't say I almost bought it. I was gonna go look at it. It was a Jeep Renegade Latitude, 2018. I don't. That sounds. I think that's what he got. But he got like an LX or whatever. I don't know what it, or something. Yeah, like, that. like they look but super cool. Super, yeah, they're like they're super cool looking. Like they're all like kind of boxy, but not really. Does your buddy watch his show? Yeah. 
You know who it is. Oh, uh, okay. You met him. You met him. He was at the I Possess thing. Cool. Cool, man. Well, thank you for coming out to I Possess. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to say pineapple juice on the rest of this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just heard they're not that reliable. That that was that's it. it. That's that's, that's all I heard about it. They look super cool. Like I was gonna go and, and look talked, at it. And it looks super cool. We dude. talked about it, was, it. Like, blacked out. It kind of looks like the Jurassic Park jeeps. Like there's a couple of people that they're really cool that have it. jeeps or whatever. And we t- we all they were like a pig. Apparently it was like a whole jeep discussion, oh, dude. And people here's the that thing. own there's jeeps. a there's a specific. Hold on before we get into that. There's a specific like year where the jeeps were garbage. Yeah. I don't that, know what I year think that, that might is, be so. the, my 2018 that I was looking at because I just heard that they're not reliable at yeah, all. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what year he has or whatever, but but he, I mean, he, the, the cool part is is what I found about Jeeps is that like they're so like accessory driven. Yeah. Like oh yeah, pull everything out, hose it down, put it all back. No, like you can buy pieces and parts and like color, like trim and like all the stuff that just like clicks on and Yeah. Yeah, so like Anybody who owns a Jeep mm-hmm. um, becomes a, a a Jeep people. Yeah. It's it's a community of people. Yes. When it's like, oh, you own a Jeep? We're best fucking friends. Yeah. High five. High five. High five. High five. High five. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's just like, it, 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 seriously, yeah. it is. Like, anybody, it's like, oh, you own a Jeep? Me too. Yeah. When are we going off-roading? Yeah. When are we going to go mudding? When are we going to... Yeah, no, as soon as he brought Suck it each other's dicks. As like, soon as he brought this up, it became like a whole thing. No, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not, you know, <laughs> it's, it's a you're just getting die. into the Jeep community. No, but I mean, it's I, See, and that's the thing. I could see you being the Jeep a Jeep guy. Probably, but I'm not going to join the Jeep because cult. of like the whole like towing capacity. Right. And the, the like Oh, the dude, front, I would definitely buy front, a Jeep. Oh, hands down I'd buy a Jeep. Front like they have like the I don't know. The front chain. pulley system yeah, like pulley. on Jurassic Park? Fuck yeah, yeah dude. All no, dude, kinds of shit. I would totally buy a Jeep. But I, when somebody else does that, like, oh, you have a Jeep, I have a Jeep, I'll be like, oh, cool. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just, I don't but join a, a group a, of people that have Dodge Avengers. It's a whole thing. It's and, and the thing is, though, is that people who buy Jeeps are usually the ones that like to do the off-roading thing and like to do all of that. You know what I mean? You just talked about going up to the mountains and hauling your bike. My Harley. Yeah. I'm not going mudding. I, okay, but. Okay. I'm just saying. I know. I'm just asking. Let me just make fun of people with Jeeps. You can make fun of people with no Jeeps offense, all you dude. want to. There's a no. lot of people with Jeeps that listen to this podcast, so by all means, offend away. But my point <laughs> is, is that you literally, I very much I'm feel I'm going to be canceled by the end of this episode. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> it, I feel like it would Cease very... and desist me, all right? I feel like it would very much be, like you would very much be the Jeep guy who would get all the accessory like all of the like the lift kit and like all the like cool clip like cl- i don't say clip on because i don't fuck i don't fucking know how it works but like the attachments to your jeep like your jeep would just be like a fucking well like, it's, it, would, it would look you know how they have the jeeps that look angry i feel like <laughs> I, feel, I feel like you'd have an angry jeep well like, i find Arr! i find that it's not like like, like the jeep like the um the jeep renegade or whatever that's not those that's no, not the jeep people I'm talking about a wrangler yes, yes. that's jeep people yeah, those are the Jeep people. Um, that absolute, I, and it's like, and now they do this. Excuse me, they do this whole. Um, I'm gonna duck you. Yeah, and they give you a little rubber ducky. Yeah, you don't even know that, but it'll just show up. Yeah, so yeah. like, and then it's, and then you put it on your dash. Yeah, and you've been ducked, and you've been ducked, and. <laughs> And like even today, yeah, right. So I was at my godson's birthday party, right. He's, uh-huh. He turned two today. Okay, and they bought him a little Jeep Wrangler, fucking okay. tr- yeah. r- truck thing or whatever, right? Yeah. And somebody had stopped by. It was like just wanted to give this to Lincoln, and gives him a fucking rubber duck, and he had been ducked. I was like, Lincoln, you're two, and somebody just came by and ducked you. <laughs> You know, it was my little sad, pathetic joke. But I was like, you, you've been ducked, bro. And <laughs> Good job. Yeah. And I gave him his little rubber duck. And he literally went. Yeah. And went back to his toys. But uh, but no, like, I just, it, it's weird, man. Like, every time I see, like, I know I know a lot of Jeep people, Jeep Wrangler people. And, like, every Instagram that I see is just, like, 
We're taking the Jeep out. We're going to see if we can get it stuck. Okay, Why but you do don't you have, want but your you Jeep to be that guy? Stuck. You don't have to be that guy, though. Yeah, I know. You, it's like, you I don't, can be I don't like know. the cool... Hey, maybe it's fun. I don't know. I can't judge. But I'm going to. <laughs> you <laughs> are. Totally am. So, um, like I said, like I don't know. Like I figured, like when it came because of the accessories, because of the stuff, because you literally are like, oh, I would buy this, I buy that, I buy. This. It's like, yeah, Jeeps, the Wranglers, and all their a lot of their Jeep, a lot. I mean, not even just the Wrangler, but a lot of the Jeeps out there have this accessory package that you would just buy all the shit. Bro, from. I almost bought a Ford Maverick, which has a fucking scan that you scan with your phone, and it gives you blueprints so you could three D print your own accessories. Again. I would. I was. I was gonna buy one of those. I was gonna fucking deck out my fucking Maverick. Right. Until they stopped making them because they got over fucking packed with orders, and then now I can't find one anywhere. But I don't know. Again, I, I, I said when it comes down to it, I, when I think when I think about it, I would be like, oh, yeah, I could see Adam rocking the the Wrangler. Like, hey, let's take the doors off and the top off, and let's here's, go. Here's the thing, get though. In. I've tried. Um, I've driven a Jeep Wrangler. I've driven one down from Tennessee here. Our sister had one. That's who yeah. I'm talking about. And she decided that she was going to sit in the back seat and pray the entire time that I was driving on the highway. Because? Because she was scared of my driving. Okay, well, that's her on her. Grace, I love you, but come on. I was not driving bad. You had a Jeep Wrangler on the highway, and you put... The soft fucking covers on. Every single time a car went by, you're fucking... <laughs> like, what do you want from me? Like, I can't control the wind. Okay, but they make hard top ones. She didn't put it on. She was a little soft covers. Like, yeah, dude. Every time a car fucking passed by me, it would, like, shift us. And so Grace is just... Oh, dear Lord, please let us get home safe. Do you know how difficult it is... To drive on the highway with Mother Teresa in the back with seat. Mother Teresa fucking praying in the back seat. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Like, I finally, I like, I finally, a semi truck went by, and fucking pushed us, and I was, like, I'm taking this exit. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's it. We're done. And I was like, Dad, you fucking drive. Um, yeah. Here's the, it, it, the the Jeep thing is big in California too. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, because it goes like, from snow to sand. Oh, dude, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I, uh, like, I even said, even like, when I'm at my day job and my boss he plays like a 90s playlist type of thing and it plays like no doubt right i think i actually said this a few episodes ago I don't know. but every single time i listen to it i'm like dude like i'm loving this playlist like i feel like i need to be in a fucking jeep driving down santa monica boulevard <laughs> like you know what i mean yeah it gives it me that 90s like that's what right. that's what when you say 90s that's what i think about jeep wrangler santa monica boulevard even, though, I, even though i've never been and surfboards yes even though i've never Adam pretty much thinks about every other episode of 90210. Basically, yes. <laughs> but all right, so at the end of the day, no Jeep. You've come you've come to that decision. Yeah, uh, no, don't get me wrong, I'd buy one, just not that year of the Renegade Latitude. Okay, but I'm not talking yeah, about that. Uh, that the that. one that I found, I'm not getting. But dude, no, they look I'm sick. I'm only but going, the thing. I'm only going I, off of what you said as far as like accessory wise. I'm like thinking of my you know, I think immediately think to myself, like, oh, that vehicle has shit tons of accessories. Right. No, yeah. I mean, dude, don't get me wrong, I would totally get a Jeep, but if I got a Jeep, mm-hmm. if I got a Jeep, mm-hmm. that bitch would be wrapped like Jurassic Park. I would totally wrap that as Jurassic Park. You kidding me? I'm getting a fucking Mazda CX-3 Touring. And I'm thinking about Ghostbuster rapping that bitch. Because <laughs> it pretty do much that. it pretty much looks like a fucking hatchback. Do, do that. Dude, I'm thinking about it. Fuck, put, the, put the fucking ghost and shit on it with the fucking... On the door? Do it. Do it. I'm thinking about it. I might do that. I might buy a Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> you might be Jeep guy. You might be the Jeep guy. I want all the accessories. I want all the toys. But no, I mean, I got enough cars in my driveway right now. I'm fine. Yeah, you do. But <clears throat> oh my god, dude, I would totally. And I would like, I'd put like little fucking wings on the back of it, kind of like the fucking Ecto One has. Like I would see. I would, okay, but it's you know that the Ecto One is an old paddy wagon. Yeah, I'm not buying an old paddy wagon though. Okay, I'll just make it look like just one. Buy a Jeep. <laughs> just buy a Jeep. Maybe. Well, okay, fine. Give me an SUV from a movie that I can do. You want me to why turn it into a fucking turn, mystery why do you machine? Have to turn it into a movie? Because I want a movie car. Then just go buy a movie car. No. 
Just find out what year that the the dress part Jeep was and just go buy that. 1995 or whatever the fuck it was. I'm not buying a car from 95. <laughs> well, if you're going to make it look like a car from 95, <laughs> what the hell? I, I'm saving you a step yeah, right now. I'm going to buy a VW bus and put the mystery machine on the well, side do of that it. bitch. Oh my god, no, I would totally rock a VW bus. Okay, see how you just made, you okay, just made fun of it, and find... then you just literally, you turned, it was like, wait a minute, no, I would totally do it. I wouldn't put Mystery you Machine fuck... on it, but I would totally buy a fucking VW <laughs> <You're> bus. So... <laughs> like, I would not put Mystery Machine on it, no, but I, I would totally I buy a VW bus. Are you kidding me? I would rock the fuck out of that, Those dude. are expensive, too, because yeah. you can't find them. Oh, they're, but they're, they're talking about remaking them. Oh, well, here's hoping. All electric. Well, that'd be cool. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I saw yeah, that. Yeah, this that. was a couple years ago I heard about it. I yeah, still haven't I saw seen the, them out. I saw the commercial. But I would love... Oh, dude. How much are they? Maybe I'll just order one of those. Yeah, do that. That's going to work out well. What the fuck, dude? You just got done saying you haven't seen one, a single one out, and you also just got done saying that a couple years ago is when they announced it. So, well, it looks like we're the I'm, same... I'm trying to figure out when it is, all right? same boat as the Ford. Dude, it looks dope, though. I didn't... I'm not saying anything against it. I was and the looking. seats spin around, dog, so you could like... Yeah, they're captain's chairs. That's sick. If anybody finds a VW bus that's affordable, send it to me at Adam at... <laughs> <laughs> All right. With that being said, we're going we're gonna to close out. <sighs> enough is enough with you. Just buy the Jeep and shut your mouth. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> no, I would totally buy a Jeep. Um, I would just turn down all of the invites to go mudding. That's what I'm saying. You don't have to do the the, the dumb shit. I don't, it's not dumb. It's probably fun. We don't it's know. Probably we don't know. Fun, it's probably super fun. It's probably super fun. You're probably gonna be like, I'm. Gonna, I'll go once, and then you'll go, and you'll be like, I fucking love it. I'll be. A, I would turn into a fucking Jeep person because of all the accessories. Look what I could get. I could get this. I could get that. It comes with this. You tent. go mud, and you just pull everything off and hose it down and put it back on. Yeah, it's a whole it's fucking a, Lego a of a car. Yeah, uh, that's you, dude. I fucking love Legos. Okay. <laughs> And on that note, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening. Peacock's up, everybody. And we'll see you next week. Yeah, man.